One question I get all the time is how can you get consistent products inside of your AI advertising projects? Well, that's what this video is all about. Inside of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to utilize a few different AI tools to get consistent products for your AI product photography projects. We'll also get into some of the AI video tools that you can use for product videos and advertisements, and I'll even compare and contrast some of my faves. Let's hop to it. So if you've ever tried to prompt for a product inside an AI image tool, you know that it can be very tricky. Unless that product is fairly generic, getting the same label, text, logos, all of those things can be very challenging. Well, that's where Kive AI and RenderNet come into play. Up to this point, if you wanted consistent products inside of your AI image generations, you typically have either had to train a custom model using Comfy UI, or you've had to use a third-party tool that's basically white labeling and doing the exact same thing. With Kive and RenderNet, you can more easily create product photography that has consistency in text, logos, design, and more. Let me show you how to use it. So the first tool that we're going to get started with is Kive AI. Now, Kive can be expensive, but if you're working in a professional advertising workflow, it can be worth it. So the pro plan, which allows you to train the model on the product photography is $100 a month. And don't worry, I'll show you how to use RenderNet, which is much cheaper later on in this video. I just wanted to show you the more professional software first. So to get started, you can go to the Kive website. You'll find a link below this video. And you can see here, there's this little box that says you can train your own model. You can click away from that. And let's go ahead and use one of their pre-built image assets just to get an idea of how this works. So let's go ahead and select this Acme Serum model here. So we'll click Try Model. And you can see it pops up different images in different orientations. We can actually select that image and scale it and move it around the frame. And we can also change the aspect ratio. So it's pretty cool. Basically, we can lay out the advertisement that we want to get. We can change which image asset that we're using and basically reorient it into whichever spot we want. And for our prompt at the top, we'll say a photo of at Acme Serum in the desert, golden sand dunes at sunset, dramatic shadows, clear blue sky with wispy clouds. And we'll go ahead and click generate. And you can see after just a few seconds, it was able to generate this image here. And the cool thing is it has all of the text that you would want to see inside of that image. Essentially, it isolated that subject, composited it into the image, and then relit the whole thing to make it feel more cohesive. Now, working with a pre-made asset is one thing, but I want to use an actual product that we want to train the model on. So to do that, all you have to do is hop over to Kive's website and go ahead and go to product shots. And from here, we're going to go to new AI model. And I should note, you can select an object or a style. We're just going to focus on object for this video and go ahead and click continue. And from here, all you have to do is upload images from your computer. For our example, I have a bunch of different photos that were taken on an iPhone of this very specific bath oil. You can see there's a very specific logo, color to the bottle, cap, and basically we want to generate these images again and again. It's really helpful to have different angles in different lighting scenarios, and the more professional the camera, the better. So let's go ahead and upload those to our computer here. And let's go ahead and name our model. We'll call this bath oil. That makes sense. And go ahead and click add object. So after a few minutes, the model will be trained on your object. Go ahead and click use model and it will pop up this editing window here. And you can see that essentially what it did at the very beginning is it just took the images that we uploaded and it cut out the product. Now you have different angles of this product that you can scale and move around the frame to basically frame up your composition for your final result. So for ours, I'm going to do a 16 by nine image and we'll go ahead and frame it up a little to the left here. And let's change the prompt. For our example, we'll say a photo of at bath oil 
on the beach at golden hour and go ahead and click generate. After a few seconds, it generated a few different examples. We have number one here, not too bad. Number two, pretty good. Number three, and number four. Now, I don't know physically how that bottle is staying balanced there, but it does look realistic outside of the physics of it just kind of miraculously kind of being a little to the side there, but it did a, a pretty good job. Now, let's do a different example here. So let's find a different angle. Maybe we can select this one here that's just a little more forward facing and let's scale it down and move it to the middle. And for our prompt, we'll say in a professional editorial photo shoot with professional lighting, intense shadows, and a moody atmosphere. So we're going for something very dynamic here. And after a few seconds, it generated a few different results. So we have number one, which looks pretty cool. We have number two, definitely giving off some Aesop vibes. And what I love is the bottle is blue and it actually understands that the light when it goes through the bottle would generate this blue hue here, which I think is, uh, it's very intelligent. Good job there. Same thing here, uh, very dynamic, looks very good. And then we have this final shot here. Now there are a few other features inside of Kive that I think are really helpful in an advertising context. So for example, you do have the ability to just upscale your image which is nice because you obviously want to get as much resolution as possible. So you can just go to that 4K button there and go ahead and click run. And after a few seconds, you can see we have a before and after. So before you see the words, they're just a little softer. There's a bit more distortion. And then afterwards, it really just smooths it out and makes it look like it was shot on a professional camera. So a pretty good job there. And the cool thing is you can now take this image and create a video out of it automatically inside of the platform. So if you just go to image to video, you can type in any prompt you want. And you also have the ability to adjust the camera movement. And when you're ready, you can just go ahead and click run. Now I generated a few different results that I think you should check out. So the first is this one here with these feathers and it does a pretty good job, but you can see the actual words on the product itself, they can tend to kind of warp and get a little weird. So that's just one thing you're gonna want to note. If you are working on a project that has just really small details, you may want to use a different AI video tool. And then I also have this take here that I used in orbit to the left camera movement. It did a pretty good job with the text and the movement is fairly dynamic, so pretty decent job. Now what's also pretty interesting is you have the ability to remove objects inside of your frame. So you can basically do in painting directly inside of Kive, which is pretty cool. So in order to do that, all you have to do is go to the erase button there and we can select whatever we want to erase. Let's just say it's that plant in the background and we'll go ahead and click run. So there you have it. You can see it removed the plant from the background. There's the before and then after. You also have the ability to replace objects. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the replace object button here on the left. And let's say we want to change it to something else. Let's go ahead and select the bottle. I'll just make a selection here. And let's prompt in a tropical cocktail drink. And within a few seconds, we get this generation here. Now I'm not loving the results here. I think that the lime looks a little off. It looks like a mixture between an avocado and a lime. And I think someone just like glued it onto the edge of the glass there. So not the best result. You also have the ability to do relighting. So if we select the relight feature, we can go over here and let's say the lighting is tones of red and yellow, which I get that's a little strange, but let's go ahead and take a look at the results. This is what we got. And yeah, it's red and yellow. I don't like the overall color grade that it applied to the object, but I'm fairly certain if the lighting was actually red and yellow, this would be what it looks like. And then finally, you do have the ability to remove the background. So if you just go to the background removal button and go ahead and click run, you can see it very easily removes the background. And then you could download that, upscale it and use it on whatever project you want. So I generated this image asset inside of Kive and I used their image to video tool to get this result 
and it looks pretty good, but that third line of text really doesn't make any sense. There's so much noise in there. It just kind of looks like a nonsense words. So I actually took that same image and threw it through a couple other AI video tools to see what the difference was. And the first one was utilizing Kling, and this is the result we got. So you can see much more fidelity. There's more contrast, which I don't love, but the fidelity of the words does look better. And then finally, we have this shot from Runway Gen 4, which is fairly new. And I like the atmospheric smoke in the background. There's much more resolution on the text itself. And it's in 4K, so you can generate videos in 4K on Runway's website, which is very helpful. Now, that is Kive AI. There is another tool that is more affordable that can also generate some pretty impressive results. It's called RenderNet. I'd love to show you how to use it. So all you have to do is go to the RenderNet website and go ahead and log in. There's a link below this video. And let's go ahead and click on Studio at the top. And we'll go over to Product Photo on the left. And basically, it's going to give you quick directions on the type of product photography that you can use inside of your RenderNet projects. Now, for our example, I'm going to upload an image of our product, and I actually already uploaded the image of the body oil earlier. So we'll go ahead and select that, and it will just take a moment to remove the background. So once the background is removed, we can select the preset person that we want to use. Let's use this guy at the park here and we'll scale up the product to be in his hand. This is kind of helpful because it allows you to adjust the scale of the product. Sometimes it can be challenging when you're creating an AI image because it doesn't know how big the product is supposed to be. So having some further control here is actually pretty nice. And we'll go ahead and generate the photo. And after a few seconds, it generated the image here. And honestly, it did an amazing job. It really does look like he's holding on to that product. The text looks really nice, and I think it did a really good job. Now, we're going to go ahead and download that image, but I should note that you do have the ability to make a video directly inside of RenderNet as well. So to do that, all you have to do is go to Convert to Video, and it's going to ask you to crop because it can only create videos in 16 by 9 or 9 by 16. And we'll go ahead and click Done. Now let's type in our prompt. We'll say the man smiles as he holds the product and we'll use Google VO2 for this generation and the camera slowly zooms in. So let's click generate and after a few minutes it generates this result. So you can see he's holding the product. There's a ton of resolution on both his face and the text on the product itself and honestly it looks like this video was shot in real life. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to learn more about creating AI ads, I highly recommend checking out our AI advertising course at Curious Refuge. We've partnered with Dave Clark, who is an AI storytelling legend, to provide you the most up-to-date and professional AI advertising course in the world. If you've ever wanted to utilize the latest AI tools to create really impressive campaigns, branding, marketing funnels, and commercial projects, this is the course for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Of course, you can like and subscribe here on YouTube to get the latest tutorials and news directly here on the platform. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.